Hey there, folks, it's Officer Joe Swanson, and welcome to my Let's Play of, uh, Until Dawn. I'm not entirely sure what this is about, but, uh, let's hop on in here. Start a new story while we're at your current progress and access to episode menu if unlocked. We also lose any collectibles. Uh, oh, yeah, we brought. You know what? We'll start fresh. Fuck it. Alright. The butterfly effect. Tiny butterfly flapping its wings today may lead to a devastating hurricane weeks from now. Is that true? Because if that's true, that's kind of fucked up. Does a butterfly really have that much impact or whatever? A small decision can dramatically change the future. Well, that's wonderful to know. Your actions will shape out the story of bolts. What's going on with this? Your story is one of many possibilities. Use your actions carefully. Alright, noted. Well, what's this place here? Oh look, they're teenagers. All right then. They're uh, out in the cabin, out in the woods, at night, and it's winter. And there seems to be a killer here. That can't be good. Oh my God! I can't believe you actually did this. Actually did what? You guys think this is a little bit cruel? Cool. What's cruel? She deserves it. Deserves what? What's going on? Whatever's happening here, I don't like it. This is the setup for a horror movie, and uh, very not okay with anything. Oh. It kind of looks like Hayden Panettiere. Very beautiful woman. See if my, uh, phallus was able to, uh, Penetrate her vagina and all that. I would totally give her a piece of that, uh, a Joe Swanson meat if you catch my drift. But unfortunately for me, I can't do that because I'm paralyzed from the waist down. Oh, she's a cutie. Who is she? Who, who's that? Hey, Hannah. Oh, her name's Hannah. When do we actually get to start playing? And who's that guy? Hey, did you see that? See what? I didn't see nothing. Else this weekend. Oh, she apparently saw that guy. Josh. I assume this is Josh. Let's wake up Josh. Wake up, you asshole. How do we interact with him? Who's that guy? I don't know who this guy is. There's something shining over there. I don't know where it went. Oh, yeah, well, well, I figured that much out. You aren't really telling me anything I don't know. What's this? Okay. Just gotta turn it. Jeremiah Craig. Okay. Jeez, Josh. Once again, brother, you've outdone us all. Oh. So he drank himself to sleep. Fantastic. At least he's not out driving, because if he was out driving... I would have to throw his ass in the slammer for reckless behavior. And driving under the influence, you know, DUIs and all that. What after didn't, you know, I don't want to have to do something like that to somebody, but, uh, it's part of the job. Uh, oh, there's another light. What are you? Of course it's locked. Why does that not surprise me? There's another light over there. We're going to go check that out. What are you? What is this? Oh, it's a note. Let's see. What do you say? Anna, you look so damn hot in that shirt. But I bet you're even hotter without it. Come to the guest room at 2 a.m. Mike. XXX. Okay. Oh my God. 
What did our naive sister get herself into now? Something stupid, I'm sure. I've got your note. I'm glad you can make it. Oh my god, is this happening? Maybe we should start with a little, you know, making out and see where it goes from there. Oh, I approve of this. But then again, horror movies. Oh, oh. Is this happening? Yes! Get naked, you strange whore! She's taking your shirt off. Oh, yeah. Oh, my yeah. God. Uh oh, they're by this are. What are you doing here? Uh, Hannah. I'm sorry, Hannah. Hannah. It's all gonna happen. Oh, shit. Stupid prank. Uh. Hey, you guys are jerks. You know that? Damn. Hannah. Well, shit. Oh, shit, she's right in. Yep, this is definitely a horror movie plot. Uh, okay. Choose what? Oh. We're gonna try to wake Josh. Josh, wake up, you asshole! Josh! Josh! Fuck! Damn it! Guys, there's someone outside. What the hell? What's happening? Where'd Hannah. she go? sister going it's fine she just can't take a joke it was just a prank han what did you do something just, bad's gonna happen and i don't approve of it jerks. well hannah. shit hannah they'll go out there should we go after her damn it you know i kind of think you're the last person she wants to see right now mike okay press the button oh, okay i can do that press the square Oh, we're gonna go the fast route. Fuck it. There we go. Yeah. Nice jump. Uh, let's see. You know, running is a new experience for me. I don't do it very often being paraplegic and all that. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's follow the footprints. That seems like a good idea. Oh, look, it's moose. And or elk. I'm not sure what the difference is between the two. I will admit that I'm very undereducated when it comes to nature. But, uh, yeah. Damn it, Hannah. I really envy this chick for having legs that work properly. Because, uh, being a paraplegic, I, uh, don't have that luxury. So there's that. Oh, you're using your phone as your, uh... Oh, we touched the... Okay. Oh, neat that it uses a touchpad. Oh, that's Hannah. cool. It's all interactive and whatnot. All right, then. Uh, let's see here. So we're looking for your, uh, sister. Anna! Where you at? Oh, shit. Scared the fuck out of me. Okay. Hold L1 to walk a little. Alright. That's not much faster than the. Hello? Yeah, that is literally Hello? no faster than how I was walking before. What the devil is that? Or do you? Pick that up. Turn it over. Oh. Well, Hannah's about to die. Apparently. I better hurry. Moving as fast as my little legs will carry me. Huh? You know, in a situation like this, you'd think she'd be running, but no. Here she is taking a nice, peaceful little stroll. Just through the woods. This is a horror movie setup if I ever saw one. So, yeah, see exactly what I mean. No, just fire doesn't fucking happen out of nowhere. Something bad's gonna happen, guys. Very not. Oh, there, there's your sister. My question is why this why did this stupid bitch run out here in the first place? So dumb. By all means that make no sense. Like I understand what the hell is that? Is this Anna? is this like the predator shit? Is that what this is? I'm not okay with it. There's a cliff over there, don't you Oh you stupid bitches. If you die, you deserve it for making stupid decisions. Something's coming after you. 
you dropped your phone, just so you know. She's gonna, they're gonna fall. What is our, what are, you know, what's ever after them is, uh, they're kind of cornered and have no place to go, so. This is definitely the predator. So that, there's that. They have fucking called. I called, uh oh, they saved each other. Oh, there's fire. Hold on. Hold on. Don't you let go. Oh, there's a guy trying to help. Ah, uh, you know what? Ah, shit. We'll let go. We'll stay with our sister. Uh oh. Oh. Well, she's dead. Well, they're both dead now, so that, uh, that happened. Well, guys, uh, anybody who's watching this right now were, uh, accessories to murder. I mean, technically we're not. We just kind of watched some people commit suicide, but we did nothing to stop it. I directly, uh, influenced it because I decided to let go, so there's that. So, uh, yeah, I'm a murderer now. I hope you guys are okay with that. The past is up. Okay. Uh-huh. Okay. Okay, okay. I understand. Okay. So, you have committed to commence with this game. This that is fourth wall will break, though. And I want to help you see it through. All right. Sounds good. Sometimes. Sometimes what? Sometimes these things can be a little scary, even terrifying. But I'm here to make sure that no matter how upsetting things may get, you will always find a way to work through it. Oh, that sounds nice of you. The subtitles say her name is Dr. Hill, but you haven't bothered to introduce yourself, so. Could you please pick up the card? Oh, now we're, you're making demands of me. On the other side and tell me what you feel about it. it okay. It's essential that you answer honestly in order to get the most out of this experience. Okay. I, uh, am a, I'm going to, ex why are you smiling creepily at me like that? All right. Let's see what's on the picture. Oh, it's a scarecrow in a little farm on a cornfield. That's neat. So, how did that picture make you feel? Remember, be honest. Uh-huh. Uh, I don't fuck it. It makes me happy. Well, that's good. In what way did it make you happy? I don't fucking know. Uh, the sunshine. We like the sunshine. I see. So which word would best describe how you feel about darkness? Well, it depends. I feel depressed. Because I spend a lot of my time in darkness. It's not fun because Bonnie, uh, she likes to turn the light out after I go to bed and I get real scared. Loneliness are not uncommon. This night in which your game takes place is particularly cold and dark. Well, that's unfortunate. I would think that you might feel isolated at times. Does that bother you? No, I'm good. Doesn't bother well, me at all. Not much of a people's person, are we? No. I'm not sure what, what made you jump to that conclusion, but what whatever. We have uncovered a significant topic to explore in our next session, but for now, we're out of time. Have fun on your own. Until then. Well, your voice may be both soothing and sensual. I'm going to kindly have to ask you to fuck off, Mr. Psychiatrist. Don't you fucking walk away from me. Hey! I'm an officer of the law! I won't hesitate to throw your ass in the slammer! You bastard. Sony Computer Entertainment Percents. Well, there's no Percents thing, but you get what I mean. 
What up with this music? Supermassive They weren't real original with the name of their company, were they? Very pretty singing, though. Until Dawn. I imagine we're gonna have to do some shit until dawn, apparently. Or we're gonna have to wait until dawn. Once again, they're not real specific about the, any, uh, you know, the specifics of this game. Yeah, there was a hidden fantasy here. I fucking knew it. As I said before, if I had a working penis, I'd totally, uh, smash that. But as you know, I'm a paraplegic, so I'm, you know, broken from the waist down. I mean, concerning sex, I have fond memories, but that's about it. But, oh, uh, if I am speaking honestly, the other day, me and Bonnie did have sex. And that right, Bonnie? Yeah, we did! Don't you fucking lie to the people! We had sex. We had what Joe calls sex. You damn right we did. Today is the one year anniversary of the dreadful tragedy that took place on Mount Washington. Annie Klein was in charge of the investigation. Thanks for having This took place on Mount Washington, all right. One year ago tonight, the like what is this Oregon or Canada or something? What what place is this? It's full of snow and uh lots of forest and stuff, and it seems to be snowing there all the time and it's on the mountain, so I'm assuming it's somewhere in Canada. Canadians are weird people. What with their bag milk and their elk and their uh, ice hockey and their curling and their maple syrup. You know, it's occurred to me that Canadians don't typically get involved with any wars that are going on. Kind of makes you wonder if they're uh, planning something. Because they are literally America's hat. Like, uh... Oh, uh, what's this? What's this? Oh, it's that right. Josh fellow well, who was, uh, friends and fans. passed the fuck it's out John from, uh, his alcohol and all that. All back this year. Um, first off, I gotta say, I am super excited to welcome all my pals back to the annual Blackwood Winter Getaway. Ah! You don't sound all that convincing and or excited. Uh, let's take a moment to address the elephant in the room. There's an elephant in the room? I know. You're How do you get an elephant in one room? I, I mean, I know, unless it's, it's like a, a circus or something. Because elephants year. are kind of uh, big. So, how does that happen? You all to know. It means uh, what? It means... It means so much to me that we're doing this. And that... Let me ask you a question. I know it would mean... Why, were, why in the hell would you go back to the place where your, both together. your sisters fucking died? That. For what? Closure. With e each and every one you can grab a buck and close that shit if you—if that's what you need. We'll never forget. There are many other ways to get closure on a situation. You know, like hell, you talk to the okay, people involved. So you talk to your friends and family. Party, like we're fucking you don't go back to the okay, same fucking porn stars. We'll uh, oh. Forget, all right? So, yes. th uh, so yeah, this is definitely a horror movie setup. They want to have lots of sex. Possibly unprotected. I, as a cop, I disapprove of that. That's a uh, borderline statutory rape. And you can get your ass thrown in the slammer for that. So there is that. Original score by Jason Graves. Shout out to Jason Graves! Screenplay by Graham Resnick. Larry Fezzedin. And performed by Amy Van Roekel. That's neat. And we got a little rocking horse at a chapel. Yeah. Blackwood Pines. This is uh, very much a horror movie setup. I'm expecting to see a shit ton of cliches in here. What's going on with this uh, truck and or car or van or what the... Oh, it's a bus. Friendship. Ten hours until dawn. All right then. There's that killer from before. Was he trying to help before? I don't fucking know. There were. 
there was no type of explanation, and, uh, quite frankly, uh, I'm a little lost. Sam, Hannah's best friend, considerate and adventurous and diligent. All right, then. She's Hayden Bandit the Air. Hello? So I imagine she's cute, bubbly, Hello and there? amazing. Gotta like a uh, Fanta soda or something like that. Pretty delicious. I would highly recommend. Not sponsored, by the way. But if Fanta, if you totally want to sponsor the channel, then uh, it's on you. Balls in your core. So there's a bird up there. I'm expecting it jumps. Yep, there it is. Called it. I was gonna say I was expecting a jump scare. What's this note say? What? The gate's busted. Climb over, Chris. All right. Fan fucking tastic. See, being a paraplegic, I wouldn't be able to accomplish these things. We'll go the correct route. So, there we go. We're gonna go ahead and jump. Might as well jump! That's a good song. By Van Halen. You know, Eddie Van Halen was the guy that, uh, did the guitar solo on, uh, Michael Jackson's beat. I mean, if you didn't know that, then you're an uncultured swine and you probably need to go educate yourself, but, uh, just let you know that's a thing. So, uh, it's, uh, really fucking quiet around here and uh Aww. oh look it's a squirrel hey there, okay it says don't move huh? hey there mr hopeful squirrel <laughs> go ahead and take my nuts that squirrel's the squirrel took my nuts that's very cute all right then current objective all right Head to the cable car station. All right, I can do that. Once again, uh, if um, horror movie tropes have taught me anything, it's when it's insanely quiet and there's nothing going on that you're supposed to expect a jump scare. So, uh, there's that. Okay, what are these things? Death. Black butterflies prophesize the dreamer's death. Danger. Red butterflies warned of dangerous events. Loss. Brown butterflies foretold the tragedy affecting friends. Guidance. Yellow butterflies offered villains visions to keep, to help and guide. Fortune. White butterflies brought dreams of luck and good for. Uh, all right then. I think that has to do with those little totem pole things we picked up earlier. Speaking of which, here's one. Where are you? Andrew, uh, uh, okay. Pick up, the t pick up the fucking totem. What the, what the hell? Okay, get, get away from me. Come on. What color are you? You're black. No, that's yellow. Yellow. Is it? Yep, that's yellow. So follow the birds. I got it. I don't need to view my totem collection. Get the hell out of here. Chris? You here? Okay, uh... Take a look-see at the... Oh, there, there, there's a light over there. There's something watching you, Miss Hayden Pan at the air. That would be a phone. It's ringing. It's vibrating. You know what? We'll close the bag. No need to be a Snoopy. Because, uh... It's not cool to steal other people's property. Sam, hey, you made it. That would be Chris. He has a crush on Ashley. He's methodical, protective, and humorous. Butterfly effect update, all right. Amazing. Oh, what you got? I'm not gonna tell you. You gotta see for yourself. Come on, it's this way. Where? 
Right that would be my phone going off. I just got an email from somebody. Not entirely sure who is it from, but uh, I'll check that later. But uh, this is about a good enough time to cut it. What is this, like 25 minutes in? So, uh, till next time, guys, this has been Officer Joe Swanson. And as always, we always do it for the sexual thrill. The sexual thrill! Hey, how you doing? Did you like this video? Then how about subscribing to the channel? Leave a like and comment as well if you don't mind. Also, check out my previous videos. They're pretty good. I'm just Blooper Saiyan! But till next time, guys, this has been Goku! Come at me!